So Barrett, Gary, I'm just gonna show everybody how we were doing this. What we did was we got up on the ceiling and measured the joists, and then this dash line is our panel. So we were able to determine a measurement off the end where our brackets go. So we got four of them, and they're secured to the uh, sides and the bottom, or the top of the panel, the bottom of the panel. We had to use these little washers <laughs> from the roofing screws because the hinge screws we were using were going through, so that worked out pretty good. So now, what Gary's doing is making some pigtails for the light to, so that we can string them to the other lights and we'll have one pigtail that'll have a plug on it. And what I'm gonna do with the plug is I'm gonna get one of these Wemo. Have y'all ever seen these? Have y'all ever seen these Belkin, the Wemo outlets, Gary, Barry? And uh -uh. You know what? how I have an app that I can turn that on for carrying the central back system off from my phone? What I'll have is one of those plugged into the ceiling in there and I'll be able to control the lights mm -hmm. There's a, there was a receptacle up there and all these lights on the ceiling will be plugged into that and we'll be able to control the lights from the desk. I was supposed to be more excited. <laughs> I guess it's only exciting for me because I don't have to get my fat butt out of the chair and go hit the switch. <laughs> <laughs> so what Gary's doing now is he's measuring 17 inches and 40 and 3 eighths off. 17 inches off the framing up there and 40 and 3 eighths is the dimension uh, that the panel is off the wall and the dimension, the 40 and 3 eighths is between the brackets. And so we're ready to hang now. As soon as we get our little eye hooks, screwed into the bottom of the joist. Here's our four hangers here. We've got 15 links on each chain and that chain is rated at 70 pounds. So <laughs> it's not gonna be, uh, there's not gonna be 280 pounds there. It's just about 50. So we're, we're good. <laughs> Are y'all happy with your work? Yeah, we have to. That's the first ceiling panel. Now we got one there. Where's my finger? One there. And then we get back here. And how many more, Barrett? We got four to go in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight all together. I'm going to have to get back here to even see the whole thing. We need six more of them. Seven more. Now the funny thing is, to me it looks out of level, doesn't it, Barry? Well, yeah, yeah. I think that, but we checked it with a six foot level, and it is level, so I'm hoping that once we get all the other panels up, it'll look level, but I think it's cool, don't you? Yeah. 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 And when we get all the lights strung together, it should be cool. So Barrett, yeah, dude. we decided to, it's funny because I thought if we hung the panel low enough, the panels low enough that it would hide where the drywall's missing, mm -hmm. but that ain't going to work, is it? Not on the side. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to patch the drywall, and then we're going to raise the panels up a little bit so that they are flush with the bottom of the beam on the other sides. So that when you're coming down the stairs, uh, it won't look funky. Because if the panels are too low um, on that side of the stair, it'll look funky. So anyway, uh, we're getting ready to go eat lunch, and I've, I've got the sun in my face here, so <laughs> I'm not having a good time. I'm gonna feed you. Uh, <laughs> And we're gonna go, uh, but keep uh, keep uh, keep tracking this job. I think this project's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting to see how it all turns out. For sure, dude. Thanks, guys.